welcome friends to another video. Ah, the time lost proto Drake. How much time I have lost camping and hoping for you to show up. <laughs> the time lost proto Drake has to be one of the hardest mounts to obtain in WoW because like it says in the name, it's time lost. So let me explain. To start off, we are going to head to Northrin. More specifically, we are heading to the Storm Peaks zone in Northrin. If you need help getting to this area, there is a portal in your portal room that'll take you to Dalaran and then you can just fly over here. Now, I'm going to strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you end up getting an add-on that allows you to know exactly where the flight paths are. I have Silver Dragon and I have Rarity. I'll link both of those down in the description below but these will help you end up seeing the flight path for the Time Lost Proto Drake. Now there are four flight paths for the Drake and the red, blue, and yellow, they will end up having the Time Lost Proto Drake hopefully spawn. And when he spawns, he will fly counterclockwise. So if you're gonna camp these areas, you wanna fly around them clockwise. So you end up running into them. Now the green little uh, area here, this little flight path, he will end up flying clockwise. So for that one, you want to fly counterclockwise. I'll show you exactly where the spawn points are because the Time Lost Proto Drake, if it is going to spawn, it'll come right out of the mountains. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this before we even get into anything. The Time Lost Proto Drake ends up sharing a spawn timer with another dragon. The dragon's name is Varagosa. So what ends up happening is, is you could sit here waiting for the dragon to spawn and it could be Varagosa. You could kill Varagosa. And then the next time it spawns back, it could be the same dragon. You could honestly spend weeks, if not months here and never see the time lost dragon actually spawn. I'm going to go over some other key points at the end of this video of things that are actually going to probably help you end up acquiring this dragon or at least camping for it much more easier. For me, I still haven't gotten this. I've been after this off and on for about a month now, and I honestly kind of don't expect that I'm going to end up getting it. Maybe I'll get lucky, but for the most part, I don't think I have the patience for this one. All right, for the yellow spawn point for where the dragon will end up spawning, hopefully it's the time loss, but it might be Varagosa. You want to come over to this location right here, and the drake will end up flying straight out of the rock that's straight in front of you. The blue spawn location is going to be right here. You can kind of see on this map that there's an icon that indicates exactly where it's going to fly out from. This is because of one of my rare scanner add-ons. Again, I'm going to go through a checklist of everything you need if you're going to sit here and camp for that. And you can see that somebody else is already here. There was a pre-made group that was already here camping, camping it while I was just filming this. Made them a little nervous. You know, normally... When you come over here and people are already starting to camp it and you're just kind of flying around looking, they do kind of get a little nervous about you maybe stealing their kill if it ends up spawning. And I'm going to explain that too. Don't worry, I'm going to explain everything, but baby steps. So not too far away, you can find the spawn location for the green section of the flight path that the Timeless Proto Drake may have. And you can again see that there are people here. Also, there, the pre-made group that was here, I had actually been with them earlier, so the guy was just messaging me, hey, our group's full, and that's fine. I told him I was just kind of flying around and I was going to log off anyway because I had to eat dinner, which actually wasn't a lie. I really was going to go eat dinner after kind of just perusing this a bit. The fourth spawn location and kind of the farthest away and also the biggest flight area that the Time Lost Pro Drake could take is the red area. And again, the Drake just flies straight out of the rock face and you can also see that somebody else was sitting over here, hopefully waiting for it to spawn. All right, so let's talk about the Time Lost Pro Drake and how to end up using your time efficiently on hoping for it to end up spawning so you can kill it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you first off Again, I already said this in the beginning of the video, you need to get add-ons that notify you when a rare spawn has came into focus. Again, I use Rarity and I use Silver Dragon and I have an NPC, sca uh, an NPC scanner. So I actually have three add-ons that'll notify me because I'm honestly not sure the range of everything. So I just figure, you know, it's better to overdo it than underdo it. The next item I definitely strongly recommend that you get is the add-on called NPC Timer. What this does is it allows you to hover over the NPCs that are active in the zone to see how long they have been active. The zone ends up resetting if no one is here, so you could actually 
come into the zone, hover over an NPC, the spawn timer for the time lost proto Drake and Varagosa, again, they share the same spawn timer, will be between two to eight hours. So if you come into the zone and you hold it over an NPC and it says that everything's been active for about two hours, you know that you're actually in a good time to be there because there's a chance for it to spawn. Now you might have noticed from this video that I am in a group. Now, in order to do this, for everybody to end up getting the Time Lost Proto Drake, is you can be in a group of five. It has to be a dungeon group. It cannot be a raid group. If you set it up as a raid group, it's not going to work. What ends up happening with this is you could have a group of five. There are four spawn points, so everybody can camp on one of the spawn points, and then the fifth person just, just fly around or do whatever they want. And then what ends up happening is, say the Time Lost Proto Drake spawns. What you want to do is have all five people go to that location and then kill it. If you have one person that's like, oh, it's here, I'm going to kill it, and no one else in your group is in range, only that person can loot the time lost Proto Drake. Now, if you're all in a group and you're all there together and it's in range and you kill it, then all five of you will end up getting the time lost Proto Drake. Now, if you're doing this solo like I end up tending to do, this is the first time I've ever actually been invited to a group, which is interesting. But I like to camp right in this location because according to my mini map up at the top, all four of these lines are all on my map, which in theory means that my NPC scanners or my rarity scanners, whatever you have, should pick up the fact that the Drake is flying by hopefully i kind of tend to more scoot towards the red green and blue lines more than the yellow but i always try to keep the yellow a little bit more in view just in case but if you are camping solo this is about the prime location to be in because the time lost proto drake will end up flying past here at some point in time because once it ends up spawning it'll be active for 30 minutes so it'll end up doing its flight path a couple of times so just sitting here you're bound to end up having it spawn, hopefully, fingers crossed, and then you can go ahead and get them out. Like I said earlier, the Time Lost Proto Drake has to actually be the hardest mount to obtain in this game. But once you get it, then you can rub it in the face of all your friends of, look what I did with all of my time. I finally got it. <laughs> well, happy hunting for this mount. Hopefully he ends up spawning instead of Aragosa and you are able to end up killing him and looting his body and getting them out. For me, I think I'm just going to sit here for a little while longer and then I'm going to end up doing something else because like I said, I don't really have the patience for this. Someday, maybe someday. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos like this every week. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the next mount video. Have a good one.